Hey there, this is Pat, and as I continue day seven of my cross-country road trip, I meet with my great friend Jerry Johnson to talk about his Inca Gold Prowler and how much this car and his previous Prowlers have made such a big difference in his life. Before we get started with Jer, I wanted to provide an update from an earlier Zoom call video I did with Corey McGrath who was trying to get his dream car, a 1999 Purple Prowler that once belonged to his grandfather, shipped from Newfoundland to Alberta. Recently I heard from Corey that the long trip was finally completed, and he hopes to be driving his Prowler soon, if not already. Thanks again, Corey, for a wonderful story about how much this Prowler has meant to you and your family. Okay, well, we decided to come back here to Jared's place to do his video. Um, and thanks again, Jerry, so much for letting me stay here with you and Marianne. This has been a pleasure. Been so it's so great to have be here Always with you guys. Good to have you. Yeah, and I'd love to be able to see your your car. And uh, back in the day when you told me you, you sold your your red one, your purple one, I was so sad when I heard that story. And I was so glad to see that you went ahead and you missed it so much. That's the story you told me, right? That you missed you missed the prowlers so much that you finally decided. So, what was the original reasoning again? Why you decided that you wanted to? You had to go those ones well, up? There was more than just one reason, but uh, it was like an accumulation of, of reasons why, you know, a lot of it was uh, just, you know, my responsibility for taking care of mm -hmm. Mariana stuff. And, and I didn't have, I didn't figure I'd have a lot of time for car shows and mm -hmm. stuff. But she seems to enjoy the car shows as much as I do. And then one of the other reasons I, I, uh, thought about getting rid of it was because I was always worried about things breaking, you know, mm -hmm. and I figured it'd be just my luck, something would break and it would be something that I couldn't find a replacement for. And then I'd have a car sitting in a garage that I couldn't sell. Yeah. So, um, that was one of the main factors. I, it was just, I was afraid I was gonna end up with mm -hmm. something I couldn't use. Yeah. So, and I didn't want to have the money tied up in it, you know, for something I wouldn't make it good out of. Yeah. And I worried about it to the point that every time we would go out and go for a drive, I would just pray, God, please don't let nothing break today mm -hmm. on the car. You yeah. Know? And after a while, that, that kind of wears on you a little bit. And then I thought, well, my little voice was saying, you know, you should get rid of it while we're uh, uh, able to get rid of it. When I bought the second Prowler and had the purple and the red both, mm -hmm. my intention was to sell the purple one, just like turn it over real quick, mm -hmm. keep the purple trailer, get it repainted to match the red car, yeah. and to be done with it. But <clears throat> I took it to the, the dealership and left it for two months, and not one single person even stopped to look at it. Mm. So then I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should just cut my losses and, yeah. and go. And we had already had the Corvette before mm -hmm. a 17 yeah and i really did like having the corvette i love yeah. the power this, this people know this is a different corvette though yeah, than this that is one. this is a black one this is the new black one, one. Was, uh, was that kind of like a like rose, rose rose and purple color yeah yeah so uh i went up i called van chevrolet i called around a lot of places and some people weren't even interested in looking at the prowlers because they weren't sure how much they were worth mm -hmm. and they didn't want to <clears throat> lose money on a deal. So yeah. I called up Van Chevrolet and they, they deal with a lot of exotic cars. Mm -hmm. And I told them, I said, I got two Prowlers and a trailer that I'd like to trade mm -hmm. for a new Corvette. And they said, sure, bring up one of your Prowlers and let us look at it. So mm -hmm. I drove the red one up and when they saw it, they said, the car's perfect. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. And they said, we're pretty much sure that the purple one probably is the same. So they gave me a deal and I, we traded and we, they even came down and picked up the purple prowler, mm -hmm. prowler and the trailer. And, uh, I drove the, the Corvette home. Mm -hmm. Well, the next day, <laughs> mm -hmm. the very next day I came out to the garage and my first thought was what in the world did I do? Yeah. I screwed up, you know, the mm -hmm. prowler wasn't there no more, and yeah. it just didn't seem right, you know. Yeah, to totally get it. So anyway, we, uh, after we got the Corvette, we were, we were happy with the Corvette, mm -hmm. very happy to have the Corvette and everything, but mm -hmm. still, 
it's just not the same as having the prowler. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the the way people react. You drive yeah. down the street in a Corvette, you go by mm -hmm. 100 people and maybe one of them will look at it. Yeah. You drive down the street in a Prowler and mm -hmm. if you go past 100 people, 95 people will look and say yeah. something about the car. Oh yeah. So <clears throat> when we went on the trip to down to Texas in mm -hmm. October last year for the Prowler Roundup, uh, every time we'd go out and get in the car and take off with the Prowler, Marianne would say, we just need to get another one of those. Mm -hmm. And I said, you're right, sweetheart, we do. Yeah. So when we got back home, I called the guy, He, uh, his name is Steve Ruthnick. He uh, had this on the forum and I had seen it on the forum. Mm -hmm. And it had a lot of things that I had had on my red one. And I just thought the car was gorgeous. So I called him up and I told him, I says, I'm gonna get rid of the, my trike that I have to make some room mm -hmm. and once I sell it then I'll be able to buy your mm -hmm. prowler. Okay. And I told him if you get the chance to sell it to anybody else, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll just find something else later. So anyway it worked out to the point that some guy came down and he wanted to buy the trike. As soon as I got the money for that I called Steve and I said, okay we're ready. Yeah. So we went up and we got the we got the prowler and brought it back down here and I mean there was a couple little issues that we've had you mm -hmm. know with it but it's nothing that can't be it had a dent in the side right down in here it was right there mm -hmm. and it was like you know he, a tire fell over on it and put a big dent in it mm -hmm. so I took it to Dent Buster and they were able to get the dent out to where you couldn't even tell it was mm -hmm. there yeah he he did a lot of things to the car that I thought was excellent and I'm very happy with the car and now that I've got it I've had so many people come up and say, you know, we really like that red one, but man, that gold really popped, especially out in the sunlight. Yeah. So I'm proud to have it. I'm proud to be, I feel like I'm back in the family, mm -hmm. even though when we were in Texas, everybody said, you know, it doesn't matter what you drive, mm -hmm. you're part of the family. Yeah. And we felt part of the family. So, and we're looking forward now to going down to uh, West Virginia. We plan on driving this all the way back. I've had it. They went over it pretty much all the way from front to back, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm pretty confident that we're not going to have any trouble with it. So that's about the reason that I got rid of it. And now that I'm proud that I have another one mm -hmm. back in my life, I'm not going to make that mistake ever again. No. <laughs> I'm going to keep this until the day I kick bucket. So, <laughs> well. I Believe me, there's a lot of people, including myself, were were disappointed when we saw that. I, as soon as I saw you post that note originally saying your powers were gone, I was almost crying. I said I could not believe. I said how much those meant to you, and I said, boy, this, but I understood what else was important, important to you at the point, yeah. at that point, and so I understood. Um, but but, we, still, we but so happy time. you got it back. Marianne likes to drive it. I mean, or likes to ride in it. Mm -hmm. uh, what I she was she looked like she was always two foot down below me. Yeah, so you got so you have a seat I rise. got some of those risers from uh, yeah. Rick Bueller. Those down. Yeah, in, your your uh, your seat definitely is higher than mine. Yeah, and you raise it up two inches, and it just it's really nice to be able to look over at it without mm -hmm. looking down at it like a little kid. Yeah, you know, we had the uh, extensions put on the doors. Yep. So that now when you open it, it's it seems like it really opened up mm -hmm. more, a lot more than I remembered on the red one. Okay. You never had this put in on the red one? Yeah, I did. But okay. They just didn't. This seems to be even wider yet. Okay. So it, I'm very happy with that. Mm -hmm. um, I had to put new uh, shocks under the hood to keep it up because they were failing. Okay. And I put in the LS technology ones, even though that was what was in it. Yeah, the, strut, it the hood struts. When you say struts, you're talking about the hood struts. Yeah, yeah. and okay. it had been about 10 years, and they were starting to fail. You couldn't mm. trust it. You know, wouldn't want to yeah. leave your finger in there. Yeah. So, but it's pretty much the way we mm -hmm. want it now. Yeah. It's got the trailer hitch. We yeah. have a little trailer. So, so the it. so the serious XM thing there. Now, how does that how does that plug into the car? How yeah. did you get that set up? Look. It's um. Jerry. Oh. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> this is my friend Pat. How you doing? He just came to see me from Michigan. Uh, yeah, this one's mine. This, this one's mine, yep. You probably thought, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was just here this morning. I'm like, does he get a little uh, baby buggy for his... <laughs> no, it's not a baby buggy. That's my trailer. Because I, dr I drove this from Michigan. 
So uh, several days took me to get he's, here. Uh, he's doing a YouTube video thing. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like me? I do like you. Well, thank you. Keep, I love you too. Have put up with this. Too? Put up with this guy, don't you? Can I come see you whenever I want to? I okay. can. Okay. I got a little bit. Okay. Don't, 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 you don't want him to run over you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, he's uh, doing a 21-day tour. Well, 19. He keeps adding numbers to it, but it's 19 days. Well, but. it may end up being 21 or so. Yeah, I hope not. I'm gonna, unless I get uh, stuck going somewhere. Going to California next. And then he'll work his way back to Michigan, and he's doing a YouTube series. Oh, yeah, problems. so you're being recorded. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> he's been doing, uh, he's been doing different. He stopped at different places and visited with different power owners on the way. That so, sounds fun. Cool. Yeah. I'll have to watch for it. Yep. Well, the station. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know when yeah, it comes on. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. When I when I get him done, I'll send you, uh, Jerry. Will, Jerry can send you the link. He's got everything. a series already. There's already like 24. Is it, well, 30 of them. I got 30 videos so far. But I did most of them last year. Why don't you go with them and escort them out of town part way? The what? Why don't you go with them part way out of town? <laughs> We're leaving uh, on the 9th to go back to Illinois. Yeah. So I gotta get things packed up next week yeah. so we can go. All right. <laughs> well, busy. Yeah, it's gonna be a Come busy summer us. for us. Come see us before you leave. We can, you take care. What'd you Thanks say? You want me to come house? Come see Do us like before you leave. Okay. <laughs> okay? Okay. Home almost all day. Okay. I'll see that happen, okay? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys okay. take care. Good to see you. Bye. You guys, be careful. <laughs> okay, now great... what are we going to do? No, no, you, huh? no, no problem. We have a great no. community. Yeah. A lot of good neighbors here. Yeah. Yeah, you do. So where did we leave, where did we leave off there? <laughs> I think uh, we we're almost done. I think we were pretty we're, much we're done. Pretty, pretty right. I, well, I was asking you about the Sirius XM radio. Oh, yeah. This is uh, this is like a little portable model that he just mounted in the car. Okay. But when he bought it, he got the lifetime, the lifetime subscription. Mm -hmm. So as long as you don't go in and try to change it or yeah. as long as you just leave it alone, yeah. I'll always have XM in it. You know? Okay. I've got a lifetime in yep. the... This car here too. That was my phone ringing in there. That's okay. <laughs> but uh, it's it's nice to have it. He put new speakers in the car, and mm -hmm. it sounds really good. When you're going down the interstate, at 70 mile an hour, you can listen to the stereo. And it sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not sure what kind you put in. He he told me what kind they were, but they sound excellent. The, the lower end's good, and I, I know he didn't put a subwoofer in it. Mm -hmm. So, but it still sounds. I'm very happy with the radio. Okay. You put a backup camera in it. Yeah. So that when you back up, oh, you, don't, yeah. you don't smash the tranny cooler against the curve. Yeah, that's this one right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that. So is that? That's what that other little screen is next to the. Yeah. That's the backup. Camera that's the backup there. camera. Okay. And it comes on when you put it in reverse. It comes on and shows you where you're going oh, to. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and, and you and you got a different arm, you got a different armrest on there too. Yeah, he had that. He had that reupholstered and raised, and it's very soft. So when you drive, mm -hmm. and then he put the little extra storage bag in there. Yep. And it, that thing holds a tremendous amount of stuff. So it really eases up trying mm -hmm. to put stuff inside, you know, the car. Yep. And, okay. Uh, and he also put the second trunk popper that I've got too. Yep. That makes side. it really handy when yeah. you're putting the top up and down. You don't oh, have to yeah. run around the car oh, all the yeah. time. I've got, he put I've got in the the headrest. Yep. I wasn't real sure about those, but you know what? They're they are they're nice. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to keep readjusting them because they slip around a little. Yeah, bit. mine does a little bit too, but but, but they're I'm nice happy. to have. Nice to have the head. It gives you extra head yeah. support. So what's that thing over there on the? I noticed there's something over there on the door. Oh, that's a that's a cup holder. That oh, that's a cup holder. Yeah. Okay. And you just flip that down, and you can put a a cup in there, and it just flips down. And then you're ready oh, to go okay. There you go. Okay. Just, oh, this goes out. Okay. There you go. Oh, nice. That's a new idea. I, uh, Kleenex is Marianne. Yeah, I kind of figured keeps that. keeps it from rattling a little <laughs> bit, too. Keeps it rattle a little bit. Well, I was going to say, yeah, probably as the car is shaking, this is probably making a lot of noise. But. And then Marianne wanted to have an angel like we have in the Corvette. Mm -hmm. So that one says... Uh, don't drive faster than your guardian angel can fly. Yep. 
which in a prowler isn't really that big of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's a beautiful car, and I'm glad you were able to get, get one again. I'm, I'm elated. I'm yes, just elated I'm, to have it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you're right though. I mean, I mean, the Corvette's beautiful, but you're right though. People see these all the time. You know, and they don't no, pay attention. No, nobody sees it. I took the red one across town one day to get some stuff done to it, and my friend Mel followed me in, in the Corvette. Mm -hmm. And he said that everybody was taking pictures out the windows and looking out and mm -hmm. going by and gawking. And he said nobody even looked at the Corvette. Yep. I said, well, that's everybody knows what a Corvette looks like. Everybody's seen one. baby. Everybody wants to see it. <laughs> But okay that's pretty much the whole thing i do like these too oh yeah you got the the, the curb the, the protection. these things here are solid as a rock yeah when i first uh drove the car the first time i pulled mm -hmm. into a parking place and i i hit the curb with this and i tell you what it stopped it right now yep so i'm very happy with that. yeah well, you can see where it used to have some scuff marks under there but probably before that was there were put in there yeah i was looking at when i saw uh jeff's today man his has been be pretty beat up yeah but his car's a lot better on the road a lot longer so and i know what you yeah his has got tremendous amount of miles on yeah it. yeah so it makes sense but it's it's been god that car has been used so good mm -hmm. he's got his fun out of it for sure oh yeah and then you yeah. you're, you put this one on here but are you, you this might, is just this is i just, wanted to see what it looked like yeah and I put just the one piece on. I'm I don't know if I will or not, you know. Yeah. But it's just a cheap thing to make it look like it's got chrome on it. But mm -hmm. I love it just as much without it. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful car, and great to keep it in the keep her in the family this time. Yeah. Don't let her go. Don't worry. Don't let her go. You'll see it. You'll see it in Virginia. Okay, that's right. We'll hopefully see you there in Virginia. All right. Okay. Well, Signing off. Thank you, Pat. All right. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Thanks you for coming. Thank you for having me. Okay.